Hello, my soccer universe. I am a little bit at a loss of words to describe what just happened. Um, all I can say is I'm wearing Liverpool and I didn't expect it. Wearing the white one because I want to keep the red one for the background since it was a Liverpool home game. Liverpool made it to the final it's completely unexpectedly. I have to go back to my uh, predictions video. I think I had Liverpool in the final over Barcelona, but of course I would not have had them after the first leg. 3-0 to Barca where um, I said it, it was lucky for Barca to get this big lead uh, against Liverpool in the first leg. I think I said back then, I feel with all of you Liverpool fans out there, um, I have to say now the same thing I feel with the Barca fans. And it's a very, very, very familiar feeling, um, you know, and you see it right here. I'm first and foremost a Lusk and a Milan fan. And as a Milan fan, I, at least <laughs> it's almost 20 years, 15, 15 years ago, I experienced that. They gave up a big lead against Depor in 2004. A Champions League that was wide open for them to win. Um, if they beat Depor, I know this was Mourinho's uh, Porto. I still, Milan was one of the best sides in Europe. And of course, we had our own uh, dealings with uh, Liverpool. The forgotten final, at least for me forgotten, I know. <laughs> Many still talk about this final, I barely mention it. Um, we were 3-0 up at half. And we gave it away in very few minutes um, and then lost on penalties. I don't want to compare it because this was a one game and this was now a return leg and we know that over 180 minutes crazy things can happen. Uh, but really that Liverpool wins that one, especially even after the first half, I actually did not see it coming. Um, Let's go. I, I Today I didn't make notes. Um, a, I forgot. And then when I told my wife after 15 minutes in, I said, nah, I'll, I'll keep watching. And, you know, she joined me too. So um, it was nicer to watch it that way. Liverpool had a really bright start from the beginning. Um, and actually, in first minute already with uh, Shakiri have, having a chance. Then I think there was a, there was a messy dribble somewhere in there. Um, and yeah, uh, Liverpool pressed Barca really, really high, exactly at the game that hurt them already in the camp now, where uh, it was really hard for them to get themselves out of trouble. Uh, and they got their early, early goal, uh, I think it was a ball, I want to say from, now if I would remember, uh, it was a long ball from the defense. Uh, that Jordi Alba completely uh, misjudges, uh, heads it directly into um, the path of Mane, who puts it to Henderson, who gets it very nicely in, but it also bounces uh, nicely towards him, and he can get past PK, which is also something that um, you wouldn't have expected, and then shoots Ter Stegen saves, and Divok Origi of all people is slotting it home and falls right at his foot. Slots it home, 1-0. Dream start for Liverpool. And at that moment you actually had the, uh, the thought that there was a chance to go 2-0 and so on. Um, it was all that Liverpool could hope for. I mean, you had a, a squad out there that was with injuries. I mean, no Salah, no Firmino. So two of your best are out and you're playing Shakiri and Origi. Then again, those two already got the win at Newcastle. But then actually Barca came and it was Messi who was, misfiring is such an ugly word, but he didn't put the shots on goal. But there were quite a few chances and I think it was at least once when Alba had the ball in the box and he thought to give it to Messi because in a better position when I think he could have taken the shot himself quite well. Um, and that was kind of the theme today that, yes, we know that Barca is very reliant on Messi. And if you haven't seen it, I posted an article on um, my Facebook page about a week ago, uh, where uh, 5.30 it says Barca, Messi is 
sensational, but Barca is relying on him more than ever. And that's exactly what you could see, and that was in a way Barca's undoing almost. This always looking for Messi, and no one is actually daring to go by themselves. Always give the ball to Messi, give the ball to Messi. And as much as Messi, Messi needs support, I think. Uh, only giving it to Messi, that's too much. But Barca had chances, and actually, uh, I'm absolutely certain. I mean, there was one uh, nice uh, shot that Messi put on goal that Alisson got out. Uh, I think there was even a chance by Suarez, if I'm not mistaken. As I said, I didn't make notes, so I'm, I'm, this is good just from memory. But I would say just from minute 13 to about 30, Barca had the bet of the game and then the game calmed down. Liverpool couldn't do the high press anymore. Liverpool, even in this uh, dominant phase of Barca, had their chances. And whenever they could press, whenever Barca had the ball in defense, Liverpool was pressing so high. Barca needed to get past it. If they got past it, it got very dangerous for Liverpool. However, Barca didn't make the goals. And do you see the reversal there? In Barcelona, Liverpool didn't take the chances, Barca did. And here it was almost the opposite. Uh, but the game calmed down considerably towards the end of the first half, and you had the feeling that Barca is playing this home. You know, yes, there could be something coming, but uh, I didn't feel that Barca is completely out of it. Uh, there was a lengthy injury break for uh, first Henderson, who kind of twisted his knee, uh, which was not so... Um, uh, didn't look well at first, and you could see Klopp uh, actually looking. Please no, please no, please no. Um, I'm just, I just want to pull up the, highlight, uh, the stats now that I'm not saying that. And I think that it was Robertson that uh, got injured and needed to be taken off at the half. Let's quickly see that. Ah, uh, yes, it was Robertson. Wijnaldum came on right at the half. And what a substitution. Um, of course, Liverpool, it, the game started pretty, pretty much the same way as uh, the first half. Liverpool now, okay, we had the rest, now let's press Barcelona high again. Let's test them, let's go for it. And go for it, they went. I mean, uh, it could have been very quickly 2-0, um, took a while. But in the end, it is Wijnaldum who makes it 2-0. And then two minutes later, cross in Barcelona, shell-shocked at the 2-0, because they knew, now game on. And I said it to my wife. I think now game game on, we, 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 we're going to see now uh, at least a very exciting game. We might see one for the ages. Um, and we saw one for the ages. Uh, cross in Wijnaldum high and in the was it 58th minute 56th minute 54th and 56th it's 3-0 Liverpool and everyone at Anfield is going absolutely mad deservedly so and that was the first time that I was thinking this is like Istanbul 2005 and if you're looking for a Turkish connection here, yeah, the referee was Turkish, which I thought um, I like it when the referee is kind of lean and lets the game flow, but to me it was almost a little bit too much at times. Um, but I think overall, overall uh, the referee was all right, I have, have to say. I, I actually thought he could have been a little bit more uh, strict on certain um certain times and I think this probably played in Liverpool's hands uh, free-flowing style you know going for it going a little bit in the tackles in you know this is exactly what uh, Barcelona does not get that often in La Liga and Barcelona has not met a team like Liverpool um, in La Liga this season uh, I don't think any team in Spain actually plays like that. And that might be a new rev revolution now that this club may, may, that this club Guardiola style with the high press and so on, a uh, really frantic pace is maybe making its ways now. I mean, we had this period of Spanish domination since 2014, that's over now. But I said to my wife, you know, it is now 3-3. It is level. There is not much, too much incentive going forward. But Barcelona needs to first calm itself. You still had the game in hand. You still could do what you could do. 
uh, can the game at worst go to overtime? And largely they managed that and even got a little bit more. Uh, they put in uh, Semedo for Coutinho, then uh, Arthur came on for Vidal, uh, but that was a little bit later. No, Arthur came on for, 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 for Vidal. I still have a problem with Vidal at Barcelona. To me, Vidal is the anti-Barcelona player in many reg regards, but maybe that's, that was the grit that they needed, but uh, he was not too convincing. Although uh, the goals, the second one is totally on Alba. I, I, I would say the third, um, and also the third one, I think the PK was there. As I said, I haven't seen any replay. The two players that you would say are the best of Barcelona, you know, I take Ter Stegen out of the equation. He didn't look um, good on the third shot, but on the 2 nil can happen. Um, I will make an excuse for a goalkeeper because he made some saves uh, today, but he was not lucky today. Uh, the 3 nil, you need to defend better. And what you really need to defend better is your corners. You had the game calmed down, you just needed to go to overtime, and then there is uh, Alexander Arnold wins a corner, and Barcelona is leisurely setting up for the corner piece. And you could see suddenly the ball, ball goes out, and Alexander Arnold is kind of first turning away and then quickly going back, sees Orishi, is there's no one there. And it's 4 0 Barcelona. Ah, uh, Liverpool. <laughs> 4 0 Liverpool, 79th minute. And from that moment on, Barcelona took pretty much 10 minutes to collect themselves. They had, oh, but they had some opportunity. Nothing really. I know, I know there was a shot by Messi um, to the near corner. Yeah, maybe, maybe they did. Yeah, maybe they didn't take 10, 10, 10 minutes to collect themselves. But it was a little bit um, that needed to get themselves. And everyone was looking for Messi. Everyone was looking for Messi. The ball was going around. Da, 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 da. Uh, of course, Liverpool is standing deep now, but this almost how to say fear of doing something for yourself. Let it Messi do it. He is our savior. That bugged me. I mean, yes, he had a big chance um, where he got the ball with the shoulder down and then shot it to the uh, short corner, near corner where Alisson saved it, uh, if he could hit it a little bit better, it might go in. And we're talking a uh, repeat of Iniesta at Stamford Bridge 10 years and a day ago. But no Barcelona. There were maybe some opportunities, but maybe it, sometimes it was overpassing. Uh, it was not going to happen tonight. And Liverpool goes on down to the final to Madrid. I had a few thoughts before, during and after this game. I mean, before the game, I was thinking, yeah, if Barcelona scores, it kills off the tie. And I was reminded about the uh, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid semi-final thing in 2017, where also Real won the first leg like, 3-0, Atletic mid make, make, makes it 2-0, and then a uh, goal scored by Isco, which are right before I have kills the game off and everything's done. And I thought it might go this way today as well. Um, it didn't. The other thing I thought the last time the final was in Madrid. Uh, this time it's at the Wanda Metropolitana, no, at, at the Bernabeu. Barcelona also had a heartbreaking uh, semi final loss to Inter, thanks to the Icelandic volcano, I still maintain. Um, now it's again in Madrid, and they again fail in a maybe a similar situation where, uh, you know, the other semi final. Clearly had the two. It it was the the two better teams were in one semi final. This was Inter and Barca, and Barca in both cases was slightly uh, favored. And yeah, of course Roma comes to mind last year. Uh, it is staggering to me that Barcelona. Um, I I can't even forgive them that that they let the two goals in at the beginning of the second half. Uh, I think you need to defend better. This uh, the 3-0 shouldn't happen. You need to be better just to get Vinaldum. However, um, I'm even uh, testing need needs to make sure one of those goals is for sure avoidable uh, bar none. But I'm even willing to okay, that can happen. You need to calm the game down, you need to get at least to overtime. You cannot not defend that corner. 
absolutely staggering that Barca lost it. Well, I can say to my brothers, now you have your liver, your Istanbul. Now you feel how I felt back then. Uh, I feel with Barca fans, I'm also slightly smiling uh, just for the reason that I found the game at the, at the result that come now not fair. I didn't find that result here that fair either. But overall, I think the teams were very level and yeah. So not necessarily that um, Liverpool goes on makes me smile, but it makes me smile that we got a game. We got we really got a game uh, that we were hope that we were hoping for in this whole. I mean. Up until Barcelona made, made, made it 3 0. Even at 3 0, if Salah makes it 3 1, uh, we would have had a kind of good uh, position. With the 3 0, you always felt it's not, no, not going to happen. Now, look at those mess, misses by Dembele. If he makes it 4 0, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I cannot really put it into words. I always said I wanted to have Barca to win uh, was my second favorite team among the four here although it was very tight between Barca and Liverpool because I really like how Liverpool plays this uh, season so um, as I said I got into Liverpool jerseys during this season so uh, that says, that says it all because I also got a Barca jersey um, but overall yeah cannot really describe it I'm not devastated uh, that I can say for sure, but I'm also, I f can feel the pain and, you know, it's a laughing and a smiling part in me. <sighs> I think Ajax is warned to not take it too easy tomorrow. That's my biggest uh, positive out of that. And I hope that Ajax makes it to the, the final. I don't necessarily want to have an all English final, although it would be interesting too to see what... Um, Tottenham would do, uh, given that we're looking at almost an all London final in the Europa League. So maybe Tottenham should not miss out on that one. But uh, my heart is with Ajax. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, maybe I find some more reasonable stuff tomorrow in the car. If not, uh, yeah, it will post tomorrow in the morning. Um, let, let me know what you thought about that game. It's the miracle of Anfield. Uh, it's, I think, the first time that I've witnessed... Uh, no, it's the second time. I mean, I saw the remontada against PSG. Um, but there I had the feeling that Barca really felt that they can beat PSG. I don't think that Liverpool felt that. Ah, the, the last thing that... And then I end this video. Um, interview after the Barca game. Uh, where Klopp said he really enjoyed this game and... <laughs> kind of half jokingly said uh, that you know I think we have Barca right where we want to have them they are feeling safe now <laughs> and he said it jokingly um, and now Barcelona felt too safe again uh, that's I mean if I am a Barca fan I mean I saw them crying I actually would not be crying I would be super angry I would be angry beyond belief if I'm as Liverpool fan, yes, this is one of the greatest nights I've ever seen. This was the first real magic night at Anfield that I've seen. That I can say. Uh, yeah. Freak results do happen. And that's another freak result. And that's why the Champions League is the greatest competition. Uh, if you're a Barca fan at the moment, I know it sucks big time. I feel you. I've been there. I've been there. And as I said, I pulled out the 2005 final today again. Uh, I barely ever speak about it. Still hurts this one. So yeah. And Liverpool, there's some magic there. There's some magic there and now you're the favorite. Whoever you're going to play, you're the favorite to win the Champions League and maybe you can salvage your amazing season. I mean, you've got to give it to Liverpool. Uh, they played an absolutely amazing season so far. I still hope they win the Premier League. Uh, it doesn't look good. Uh, but they might win the Champions League. Maybe even a better price. Really. All to be seen.
again, if I find anything more reasonable, sensible to say than I just did, I might do it tomorrow in the car. Otherwise, let me know uh, what you thought about that game. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.